Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you how to find the circumference of a circle. So let's just imagine that we have a circle right over here and let's just also imagine that it has a diameter of 20 centimeters. So the, uh, the equation for the circumference of a circle is circumference equals 2 pi r. Now r stands for radius. Now as you can see we don't have the radius for this circle. We have the diameter which is 20 centimeters. But radius is half of the diameter because it is half of the length. Um, so the radius is going to be half of 20 centimeters which is going to be 10 centimeters because half of 20 is 10. So I'm just going to write r equals 10 centimeters over here. So basically the circumference is equal to 2 times pi times 10 centimeters. But I'm just going to write 10 for now. I'm going to bring down the unit at the end. So I'm just going to shorten this a little bit and I'm going to say the circumference is equal to and I'm going to shorten it by multiplying 2 and 10 together which will give me 20. So the circumference is equal to 20 times pi. Now, uh, the, the for pi, I'm just going to do it over on the side here, we know that pi is equal to roughly 3.14. And this is a, a very rough figure, um, but it'll get you really, really close to the exact answer if you don't want to use the pi symbol on a calculator and you just want to do this math um, the old school way. So basically, circumference is equal to 20 times 3.14, roughly. And that'll give us a really, really close answer to the exact answer. It'll be a really, really close estimate. And if we just take those two numbers and we multiply them together, we're gonna, we are going to see that circumference is equal to 62.8. And then all that I have to do is bring down the unit, which is centimeters, just like that. And basically, I have now determined the circumference of the circle. And once again, this is a, is a, it's a very close estimate because if I wanted the exact answer, I could plug uh, the 20 times pi into the calculator. But I wanted to do it the old school way in my head um, by just multiplying these numbers, 20 and 3.14. So that's basically it. In this video, I have shown you how to find the circumference of a circle. And I have walked you through the process in a step-by-step -step manner. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.